Yes, I know I haven't uploaded in a few weeks. Now my patrons know why, but in this video today, I'm really excited because I am building a CNC station. That is right, I've got a CNC in the workshop. Now, I used to not be the biggest fan of CNCs. I was like to think of myself as, you know, like this pure woodworker who just, you know, just used machines and hand tools, but I've actually been converted and doing a lot of research and, you know, knowing people with CNCs and seeing all the things that can do. I now am a CNC lover and I don't think a CNC does all the work for you. A lot of people think it's just, you know, it's not proper woodworking, it cuts everything out for you, but I do disagree because you know, there's a lot of skill in the software and the design work and being able to design something to utilize the CNC to its full potential is a real skill. Now, I haven't actually learned the software yet. I haven't cut anything in the CNC before, so I'm really interested to see what I can come up with and, you know, getting over that hurdle of learning the software. Now, a lot of you will be thinking, how on earth is he going to fit this in the workshop? Because every time I get a new tool, I seem to get comments about how, how did I manage to fit it in? Well, I've had to do some juggling around. I've actually moved a shelving unit out the workshop and I've relocated the pillar drill and the bobbin sander nearer the workbench end and the CNC will now go towards a large door at the end of the workshop. That seems to be a good place for it. It does take up a lot of space and it looks like you know a huge tank at the end of the workshop, but it is a very welcomed addition to the, the tool arsenal, if you want to call it that, and I'm excited to start using it. Now, with this build, I am making the CNC stand, you know, the table to raise it up. I'd also be adding some shelving underneath because that is some great storage area. I can store, you know, uh, components for furniture. And I'm also going to make an enclosure because I want to keep all the sound and the dust in. A CNC, if you didn't know, is one of these tools that is a little bit like a 3D printer which runs for hours at a time. Especially if you're doing a 3D carving, you can have a cut going on for about six hours sometimes. And a CNC is a router basically and that is incredibly loud. So I don't want to hear something droning on at the end of the workshop while I'm working on the workbench. So this enclosure should keep all the sound in and the dust and talking about the dust I have bought an Axminster pneumatic dust extractor just for the CNC and that's going to be hooked up to a dust hood right by the router so it should suck up most of the dust as it's being produced and the extractor is going to sit under the tabletop underneath the CNC and I was going to make an enclosure for that but that has turned out to be a little bit difficult because of the space I have also, I'd like the extractor to be easily accessible when I want to change out the bag. And also, I want airflow to the extractor because I don't want to enclose it completely because the extractor might overheat and uh, burn out. So, at the moment, I'm just going to leave the extractor out in the open. And the good thing is it's not that loud. The Axminster pneumatic extractor is quite quiet and I wouldn't need earmuffs um, while it's running. If I find it unbearable, after a bit of use, then I might find a way of keeping the sound in and that will be a patron only video if that time comes. So I'm making this whole CNC out of pine, plywood and some clear acrylic plastic from Latham Timber. If you're interested in the materials I'm using, then I'll add a link to Latham's website in the description down below. Now I chose pine because it is one of the cheapest materials, but it's definitely strong enough for this and strong enough for most applications, to be honest. So it's a perfect material for the CNC station. It's easy to work with. I can screw straight into it and it's going to be really strong. Now, I do like the color of pine, but I am quite tempted to paint it, but I'm not sure what colors. So if you have any suggestions of what color you think I should paint the whole CNC station, then please comment down below. I'm not sure if I should do sort of like a monotone gray or black color or white to match the walls or a bright color, like a red or a blue. So let me know what you think. Now you might be wondering what CNC I chose to get. Now I went for the Onefinity CNC, which is a new CNC company. I think it's been around for one year, but it seems to be taken over the CNC world. Now, from the research I've done, if you're interested in buying a CNC, I do highly recommend the Onefinity because it's really well made 
and the way it operates is with a ball screw. The router is driven along both axes with a big screw and other similar price CNC's. The router is you know, pulled back and forth with pulleys and rubber belts, which I'm told slacken over time and you need to keep them in tension and can break. And there's definitely more maintenance on those types of machines. So with the Onefinity, there is a bit less maintenance and also it is so easy to assemble, especially for a beginner to a CNC. Other CNCs take days to set up, whereas the Onefinity literally comes in three parts. I got the quick change wasteboard, which obviously is a few more parts, but the CNC itself is just three parts, the two rails and then the X rail on top. So it's very difficult to actually mess up the setup. Whereas other CNCs, you know, if you just have one bolt that's slightly loose, that can sort of throw off the CNC because it needs to be so accurate. So the Onefinity seems to be shining at the moment in the CNC world. So I'm looking forward to using it and seeing how I get along with it. And later down the line, I might do a CNC review for my patrons if they're interested. So the CNC is now set up and it's time to work on the enclosure. So it's a very simple enclosure. I've just made a framework out of pine and the sides of the CNC will be plywood, the back and the right side will be solid plywood, and the front two doors and the left side will have windows with clear acrylic in, so you can see the CNC running, which is really cool, and also if something goes wrong and it starts cutting in the wrong place, I'll be able to see that, and I'll be able to press the emergency stop button. It'll be fun seeing the CNC you know, moving around while I'm working in the workshop. Also, if I want to film it and do a time lapse, that window will be really helpful. So what I'm doing is I've got a sheet of plywood and I've got a 30 mil Forstner bit and I'm drilling a hole in each corner and that's going to give me a nice little curve in the window frame. As you can see, that is the cutout where the window will slot on and I'm just going to glue the acrylic onto the plywood with some Evo stick universal adhesive. It pretty much sticks any two materials together, so it's perfect for this. I also added a large chamfer around all the window frames, which is a nice detail, and it just makes the whole enclosure look a lot cleaner. So the enclosure walls, I'm just screwing on with a few screws, and when the time comes where I want to do some maintenance on the machine, add some oil in the bearings, and just clean the machine, which might be once every month, I can just unscrew the walls off and then screw them back on. If I find that the threads start getting worn away, I might add some inserts and then just bolt the walls onto the frame. So because these doors are quite large and heavy, I got some piano hinges which will give enough support throughout the whole height of the door. I also added some kitchen cabinet magnets to the frame so the doors stay closed and I added a handle on the right side of the door because I don't need a handle on both doors. Once I open one door I can just use my hand and open it from the inside. Next I mounted the CNC operating screen and all that's left to do now is to screw on some plywood to the bottom of the stand as a lower shelf and then to paint the whole CNC enclosure. But I wanted to get this video out as soon as possible, so please just imagine the CNC station in your favourite colour. So that is the CNC station complete. I can't wait to start using it in the workshop and seeing what I can come up with. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, share it with your friends. If you've got any questions or you just want to chat, make sure you comment down below and I'll reply to all your comments. And if you want to see what I'm getting up to during the week, then make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'm pretty active on there. So thank you for sticking to the end of the video and I will see you very soon for the next one.